And what nope. if she's cheating on you? If she fails her lie detector test, Steve, honestly, I still want to be able to make it work because it's still... Oh, a come on. Come on. <laughs> I mean, she's here because she's saying she can't take the accusations anymore. And if she's here and she fails this lie detector test, there's going to be a lot more suspicion on your part, a lot more accusations. How the hell are the two of you going to be happy if she fails her lie detector test? I would say, she said if you fail, she's out. And I would say that's really good advice. And, but, but I would say... <laughs> but I, I would say the same for you. If she fails, this is your past to get out of a bad relationship. I mean, listen, I don't think either one of you are bad people. She's obviously struggled in the past. She did things that she's not proud of. She says she's turned her life around. You've obviously made changes in your life to be a better person, mm -hmm. which is great. Mm -hmm. But not every relationship is meant to last forever. To me, this seems just like a lot of hurt, a lot of anger, a lot of suspicion. And that's not a way to be happy. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, I uh, just, you know, I just would like to clear my name, you know what I'm saying? And I just want her to clear her name, you know? And... Well, you're not charged with crimes. Right. <laughs> just against the heart. <laughs> right, right. All right, Chantel, you've never been caught. <laughs> and, and let me say, you've never been caught because you're pretty honest. You're like, hey, by the way, I just cheated on you. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck. Okay. Chantel came here and took a lie detector test. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Everybody has their own definition of a relationship. We asked you, besides three males, <laughs> since, oh my God. Besides three males since January of 2016, have you had any other sexual physical contact with any other males besides Jermaine? You answer no. Besides three males since January of 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any other males besides Jermaine? You answer no. Since you met Jermaine, have you had any sexual activity, contact, or intercourse with any of his family members? You answer no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Chantal told the truth. Why would you treat me like this and call me all these names? I'm really sorry, baby. <laughs> you know, I really love you, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry, you know? Uh, I just hope we could be able to move on. All right, so you're really happy that she passed her life. Yeah, I'm really happy. Um, obviously, there's stuff that has gone on in your relationship. Um, and you know, and it wasn't just once, wasn't just twice, it was three times. Can you put that in the past and move forward That's without I'm accusing her anymore? That's exactly what I'm willing to do, baby. And I'm gonna put all my trust into you, and you can only have that same trust for me. And that's all I want. Are you ready for his results? <laughs> yeah. Well, let, let's go back out on stage. All right, so Chantel comes, she passes her lie detector test, and Jermaine came and took a lie detector test, and we asked him, besides two females since January of 2016, have you had sexual physical contact with any females besides Chantel? And you answer no, and you did not tell the truth. Okay. okay. Cheat on you. What do you Dumbass mean? Dumbass bitch. Okay. Move, move, move her over, Mike. Move her over. He said it wrong. Ooh, I should. Sit over here. Besides two females since January two, 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any females besides Chantel? Uh, he that answered no. Besides knows. two females that she knows about since January of 2016, have you had sexual intercourse? with any other females besides Chantel? You answer no, you did not tell the truth. He said it wrong. That he, oh, he said it wrong, my ass. That knows about, what do you mean? The plane crashed with you in it. 
On the day in question, did you have any yeah, of sexual okay. physical contact with any females at that hotel? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. Who? <laughs> what? On the day in question, I swear on her all the time. did no, you have dad, sexual intercourse with any females at that hotel? He answered no. He told the truth. When? When he was at that hotel, I'm guessing the casino thing that you were talking about. Yep. He had sexual physical contact, but when we asked him about sexual intercourse, he said he didn't have sexual intercourse and he told the truth. Oh, so you got your No, I didn't. You got to clean it up I'm a little sorry. bit. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, this isn't shocking. I know it hurts you, but it can't be shocking because you kind of knew this already before you even yeah, came here. Yeah, the accuser is the doer. Look. Right. What are you hitting me for? Because you deserve it. Did I cheat on you? You deserve it. You deserve it. Did I cheat on you? Yeah, you did. No, yep, I didn't. you did. Again, oh. my point is, this, you didn't come here and, oh my god, I found out the truth. You knew the truth when you checked your GPS. Yeah, women's you intuition. knew the fault when he wasn't home for the bail. You knew a lot before you got stupid. here. All this does is confirm it. So, how much time will you waste of your life? I'm not wasting no more time. <laughs> uh, and, and again, I'm not saying you're a bad guy. I just, I think at 21, why would you want this? I, I, don't tell the I mean, truth. I, I, I do want it, but I mean. But it's so, it, it's so poisoned. It's, it's polluted. This polluted. relationship, you've got too much bad stuff in the past already. How do you get past this? You're 21, you're not ready. This is not what you want. Why, and, and you say because of this, you're out of this relationship now, right? I think this is the best thing for both of you. Get out. <laughs> now. I wonder why you wanted to still be with me, because you knew I wasn't cheating. <laughs> but here's what's going to happen. I didn't know that. Yeah, you're going to okay. walk off, and you're going to say that you're done. But when you get back home, you're going to go run it back to him. No, I'm going to take him off the lease, and he's gone. OK. I don't believe you. OK. I'm just being honest. I don't believe you. But I think if you really want to be happy, and if you really want to do what's best for you, then you will take him off the leash. You will go on with your life without him. Good luck. Hope it works out for you. It's nice to be. I hope it works out for you.